So I decided to just pull a single card for all of us. I've been um, being very inspired by a, a lot of a lot of things in life, but especially a lot of the people that I connect with on the YouTubes. <sighs> Fucking Skyhopper. You've been tugging at my heartstrings like crazy. <sighs> Fucking zigzags, been killing it like usual, doing his god shit. Of course, Sinat Man. Of course, the genie. I've been having a lot of uh, genie references pop up randomly in my life um, to the point where I'm dreaming about genies and then I wake up and the dream follows me you see do you see how this begins to work and meld together whenever you heal and remember you remember all of the aspects of yourself all of the things that you are you yoke them. You breathe them in and you breathe them out. And then you stop breathing altogether. And you realize what the breath is. That you are the breath. You are the spirit. Oh, and of course, Danny Skylark. Very inspirational and in tune, which which is no surprise. This us Leos, it seems to be you know uh, too much fire, or we've uh, tempered that cool burn to where we can just uh, share the flame in the right appropriateness and manners. And degrees. <laughs> okay, so we working with the world spirit. And we're just gonna pull one card, see what it has to say after we do the threes. Is it the Six of Cups? I mean, that's that's how we do. Perfect. Sanctuary, golden daffodils sing of springtime as two companions take a stroll within the walls of an estate. One offers the other a piece of fruit. Just, just that, like your own inner state, your own inner sanctuary, we're sharing our fruits. And, oh man, 
tasting. Six goblets stand among the remains of a picnic. One of them holds a small flame. A tempered flame. The Six of Cups symbolizes the loving sanctuary of familiar friends and places. In this safe haven, kindness and compassion flow freely, and we can relax fully into who we really are. We can enjoy life's simple pleasures, sunshine on a spring day, good food, quiet time with a friend. Just for now, leave the worries of the world behind. Live fully in the present. Even a few moments of such deep ease can seep into and change your life. If you are not experiencing the joy promised in the Six of Cups, you might look to your memories for such a time. Your memories. Seek the light within. In fact, this is traditionally the card of nostalgia, looking back on happier days, but more than just longing for a perfect and irretrievable time, reminiscing can help you draw insight from the past to enrich the present. Forgotten dreams may resurface in renewed potential. with renewed potential. Remember, remember the innocence and simple joys of youth are always available within. Bingo, bingo, dead on. So yeah, the nostalgia thing is more like, for me at least, probably with a lot of this, is more just uh, remembering um, past experiences, what that was really trying to teach us. We're kind of reevaluating our own experiences, our own belief structures, our own ideologies, and seeing them in a new clarity, in a new cleansed lens, that perspective, the perception within that brains, uh, new insights, new awarenesses, more connectivity, deeper understandings, and uh, strengthening that bridge from our mind into our hearts and back again. Peace.